Hello everyone. Um, I might be a little red. I'm sorry. It's because I just got my eyebrows and mustache waxed um, by the beautiful Amanda. <laughs> it's a little shameless plug there. But I'm here for another car confessionals. If you are someone who doesn't like sad stories, <laughs> it's not that sad, but if you are someone that doesn't really like these long stories talking about mental health and yada yada yada, I mean, feel free to log off now because this might be a little long one. Um, but this is my story. I think that as a community, as a nation, as the human race that we are, because I don't like saying Latinos, black and whites, because at the end of the day, we are humans. Uh, I feel like we've become so okay and so desensitized with Every, I'm sorry, I look like crap, but you're just gonna, you're just gonna have to see this. Um, we're just so okay with everything that's going on in the world, and it's not. I feel that, I think this just really hit home with me because I went through something similar, and I feel that mental health is very, very important to me, and I don't think a lot of people take it serious. I know even uh, family members you know some family members just don't think that it's something serious in my family your family everybody's family the cultures that just don't emphasize on how important it is to check up on a child's need a child's mental needs uh, something as small as someone not being talkative or someone being extremely funny or someone that goes day by day regularly but you never know what's going on deep inside because either of how they were raised or they were raised you know how in the streets and you know the streets teach you that certain things are weaknesses emotions are weakness uh he, you know that's corny yada 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 um and i really wanted to talk about this because this really hits home to me to make this short uh once I left high school, I really, really wanted to leave and I really wanted to pursue acting and modeling professionally, but I did keep that somewhat inside and I wanted to try and see if I could do the regular route or what seemed to be financially and something secure. I am the oldest one in my family too, so I somewhat felt that it had to be that I was leading an example and I wanted to show my cousins you know that that was something safe because I was so conditioned to believe that yet yeah, I've always been the crazy one the artsy one in my family so after a few semesters in college I just broke down to my mom and I let her know you know and it's not that they didn't know they knew that I've been dancing and singing and acting since I could hardly remember but it did hit her hard because it's something that's not realistic to them and I can't blame them for that it's I mean I'm 24 years old and I'm still trying to do this I left New York, uh, I left Florida and I told my mom that I was heading to New York and just from both my mom and my dad you know go ahead do it and I did it um, I've been blessed to have live good you know I'm not rich but I'm not poor at all um, but you know as someone who leaves deal with it you know you are gonna have to pay your bills, you're gonna have to pay your school, you're gonna have to figure it out. And, you know, at the beginning I didn't really understand that and now I'm very grateful that they did that because I, I learned a lot. And I think that those three years that I spent in New York by myself were probably the best years of my life in defining myself and growing up and maturing. The part where mental health comes very, very important to me is because um, I didn't really believe in anxiety and, you know, I just had a lot of close people tell me that that's all mental, everything's in here, and it's somewhat true, but when you're in the middle of something and you have a million thoughts coming at you, you have a million people coming at you, you have bills that you don't know how you're going to pay, you don't know how you're going to eat the next day, you don't know it was just a lot of stress and sorry 
and when you have that moment where everything's coming at you and you can't breathe and that was the first time I ever experienced anxiety and I feel like people don't really talk about it and people think that you know you're just being a drama queen and so and so but it's not you know everybody reacts to things differently and and it's not like I was in the streets you know begging and working as a who knows what no it wasn't that but the way that I personally was raised and the way I was handling it I I, I just couldn't deal with it and I was by myself the first year the first year that I was in New York I was completely by myself um, I didn't have anyone that was helping me I didn't want to receive any help from anyone it was hard for me to find a job and because I was so stubborn because I wanted to do what I loved I didn't understand that you know it's okay to have part-time jobs it's okay to find ways to you know tie up your loose um, find ways but the first year was really hard for me because I did not know. I genuinely did not know. There was days that I didn't eat. Um, there was days that I only had one meal. I was doing jobs in nightlife and that's a whole nother video that I'll leave because nightlife is not for everyone. Um, and it, it has stressed me out a lot. I had so many, I just had so many financial problems and I, I didn't know. I really didn't know how I was gonna make it that first year. And um, not only that, but it's not that I was a very extremely social person to the point where I had millions of friends. I've always been the kind of person to only have a small group of friends and I didn't really have much to vent. And I didn't want to vent to my parents or anyone in my family because I wanted to show them how strong I was and how I could do this. And I had a breaking point and I was in I was in the subway and I was waiting for the subway and I was with someone I don't want to point any names I was with someone and they were just in my ear you know telling me that I wasn't enough to change my career to go to school to figure it out and they were just coming at me so hard and I'm not blaming anyone but there's triggers as a human being there's you have buttons and if people know how to manipulate you they, you, they could get the best of you. And I was weak. I was really weak at that time. And for like two minutes, the, the subway wouldn't pass. And um, I thought about it. I really did. I was I'm like, okay, if I do this, you know, I wouldn't have to suffer. None of these problems would happen. I thought about it I, you know I, I would never hurt myself physically but I did think about it and then I don't know what happened it, it, it's it's like you come to reality but some, I mean thankfully I did but not everyone does and I don't know what happened that I just blocked the person who was talking to me and I just left I left and I think you know I had written something I had said something on social media about what stopped me and I feel it was faith it was it was really faith that stopped me because I believed in myself so much, and I knew that I was at, at I was at a hard point in my life, and it was just temporary, and it was just a cry for help. I just wanted someone to listen to me. I just needed to know that I was loved, and I think that a lot of human beings or a lot of people aren't able to express themselves to that magnitude because they feel that it's corny or it's not important or it's a weakness so faith was what stopped me New York was the first one that taught me that anxiety was real that suffering was real but it also taught me how how capable I am of pursuing what I love and how strong I am as a person and, and after that year passed it was only learning lessons from there and even even things that didn't come out the way I wanted them to it was just all a plan it's just all part of it's just all part of your journey and I need you guys to know that because it's so sad to see so many people and you know we see these famous people go through these things but it's just because they're famous that we see them but there's so many more people 
your neighbor could be going through this your 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 little brother your little sister could be going through this anyone could be going through this your parents your anyone and it's so important to check up on those people that you love and I always try and have this conversation with my friends I always try and check up on them if not monthly even weekly are you okay an okay text and you're gonna have those people that have this have this cover over them and and they won't speak to you but just keep trying because mental help is so so real and you just never know what someone's going through and even though what I was going through because that wasn't even 50% of my story but what I was going through was so much more there's people that that's not even a problem they don't even know how they're gonna feed their kids or they don't even know if a bomb is gonna come at them or they don't even know if immigration is gonna get them it's there's so many more problems in the world that we need to be more sensitive about and try and make a change I, I, f I hope that talking about it will make a difference and this isn't I'm not doing this for the cloud I'm not doing this for people to come at me and say are you okay even though you know that I appreciate that um, but I just want you to pay attention to those in your life it could be the quiet one it could be the funny one it could be anyone it could be you if you're watching this you're not alone and that sounds so corny because I know when people say that but it's so true there's so many people going through so many things and because they feel that it's a weakness to tell their problems it's not don't bottle everything in because that's what killed me to bottle all of my emotions to not want to tell anyone to want to put this big girl big panties on and just kill it and I didn't I had a breaking point and it's fine that it, it was normal there's just things as a human being that you you gotta get take breaks and this video is 12 minutes um, but I hope this I don't know I just felt like this was needed to be said and I genuinely if you're going through something I would love to be in here because that's some that's what sometimes people need just someone to listen to them and to know that they're not alone so this is my car confessional a little dark um, next one will be a happier one but I think we should get together and tell our stories and try and try and make the world a better place as corny as it sounds one day at a time but not every day is guaranteed and if anyone needs anything I'm right here I went through it too bye guys